So we arrive at the loft and personally, I'm just happy to be here. It definitely is a relief because at the last elimination, I thought I was, I was done. Yo, those judges are on my radar. Like I need to step up my game. Hopefully the next challenge will be one that I can not be so challenged at. Keith, kudos to you too. You stood down there on the front lines with me. Derek, you too. I was right there, man. I thought I was going down. The, the judges were extremely brutal and it, it, it hurt my heart when they said that I seemed like I was like selfish. It's not genuine Keith, it's genuine Ken. I definitely need to step it up today. I was in the bottom two. My strategy is to just be me, uh, smile a lot, just let my personality come out, and, and I think that's gonna take me far. Oh, Barbie! Uh-oh, oh, I gotta see this one. Barbie, I apologize for how I acted last night. With the whisk of the wind, my heart was stolen. It's more funny than anything, but it's still just a little weird for a guy to be reciting a poem to a Barbie doll. Gone forever by a dream called Barbie. Yeah. Hey, Keith, go. you failed last time. Stop! I'm on the radar. They ripped me last night. You're on the radar. We're all on the radar except for Cash right now. He's Barbie and Ken. Yo, you're a one-man circus, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm definitely worried about Cash. I think he's definitely a front runner so far, and he's gonna be a tough guy to beat. I was fortunate enough to get that, but, but again, man, I mean, we're all in this together. Well, I, I'll be honest with you. This is a competition. I want to be the Jimmy <laughs> Chan. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay. Cash, I'm like, yeah. Whoa, 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 pause. Barbie mail. Drum roll, please. A genuine Ken knows that the key to any dream house is creating a space that's warm, inviting and reflects your own personal style. 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 So if this challenge is about design, I think I've got a good hold on it. I love flipping through good interior design magazine. What is are that we? it? That's What's awesome. That is style. Keyword, creating a space. Just gotta be creative. Whatever it may be, let's do it. We walk into this warehouse. There are two completely empty white rooms. I see hammers, nails. Oh yeah, we're building something. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good, awesome. Are you ready for your next challenge? You know, Genuine Ken, there's so much more to his style than his looks. From his bedroom to his car, things always have to look good. So for today's challenge, you guys are going to be decorating your very own bachelor pads. Woo! I'm pretty good at interior design. I know how to make a room look good. I understand feng shui. Before we get into the specifics of the challenge, let's meet our judges. Of course, again, we have Lauren Brooks, our director of Barbie Marketing at Mattel. Hi again, guys. <laughs> also joining us is someone that knows a lot about interior design. She's responsible for decorating some of the coolest spots in Los Angeles. Here's interior designer Alexis Redinger. <laughs> Hi guys, I, uh, I've got pretty high standards, so I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all create today. So if we have to do something with design, I'm gonna fail. If I have to impress her, I'm done. You'll be divided into two teams of four. Derek and Chris, you guys are our team captains today, so please step forward so you can pick your teams. Chris, you get to pick first. Who would you like? Hopefully the winner from last week can uh, help bring me some luck this week, so cash. So Chris picks me first. It makes sense. We're both cheerleaders. Derek, who's your first pick? I think I'm gonna pick Curtis. I think he's a big guy, but I think he's got some artistic flair. Let's do this. LeBron. LeBron, come on. Thank you, thank you. Dave, bring him out. I'm kind of glad I wasn't picked last, but at the same time, I'm surprised that I was picked third. All right, so we have Michael and Keith remaining. Chris, who's your last pick? I'm gonna have to go with my boy Keith. And by default, so I finally get picked last, and Derek picks me, of course. I like the rest of the team. I just think Derek is lame. Now both teams will get a half an hour to prepare for decorating the bachelor pad and then the two teams will split up. Two of you guys from each team will get $1,000 to go shopping at Urban Home for decor and accessories. But 
You guys will only have 30 minutes to shop. We actually left some housewarming gifts. These are core furniture pieces, but as you can see, we didn't put them together on our own, so that's up to you guys. You guys also get to choose the colors of the wall. Okay, so you guys have three hours to pull these rooms together. At the end of the three hours, you will have to present your rooms to all of us. As always, the winning team will be safe in tonight's elimination and still in the running towards becoming Genuine Ken. However, the losers will all be up for elimination. All right, good luck, boys. Get to work. Let's go, let's go. We need to plan out what our rooms are going to be first. Maybe Understand. this could be like the living room area yeah, yeah. With, with the fireplace. Yeah, I like it. Again, it would be really classy, really warm. So we only have 30 minutes to put this whole plan together. Derek's just standing here. So I jump in and take charge. I'll present. Painting, you get a painting. I want you on furniture with me. Derek, what are you doing? You're the leader. This is my only thought on the paint, OK? Masculine, but yet inviting. I have no idea what Derek's going to bring to the table. But at the very least, hopefully he can put together a bed. I'm going to get the decor. I'm going to get the decor. And as a team, we quickly decided that Lerone and myself are going to be doing the shopping. Because <laughs> come on, we are pretty stylish guys. All right, let's go. Come, come on. on. Let's get it. Let's, get it. let's, come on. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Crisscross. All right, so you guys are going to run to the store. We're going to stay here and paint. And uh, one, two, three. Yes, we can. Let's go. Let's go. really don't want to get anything like on the carpet because if we get this thing on the carpet that doesn't look as good i'm painting it's going smoothly we got the color that we wanted i look over and it looked like chris and keith are not doing that well with the painting oh careful i see keith starting to paint and i realize that he doesn't exactly know what he's doing Hey, we just walked in the store. Let me call you back. This is our first team challenge. Two of us have to go shopping for the furniture. The other two have to stay back and do the painting. Lerone and I have a theme for our room, which is romance. So we're looking for artwork that says love. These color candles. This is perfect, yeah. River stones like inside rivers. of like a nice vase. That's our, that's our lamp. All right. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little more difficult than I thought. So our plan with our room is to do an elegant look. We want some masculine flavor to it, yet at the same time, something that any woman would feel comfortable being around. I think this one would go great. Ooh, no, 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 not that one. I like this one. Curtis is really taking charge, which I'm okay with. I mean, if it all falls on him, it all falls on him, right? Nice off-color stool. Mm -hmm. And that's also doubles as a seat. Hey, Mikey, I think a stool and a chair are the same thing. I don't know if I'll ever be able to decorate a house. Well, in 30 minutes, that's hard. <laughs> in 30 minutes. As team captain, I decided Keith and I were going to do the paintings while Laron and Cash go buy the furniture. Oh, watch, watch. I see Keith painting, and it's just, it's going horrible. It's the first time I've ever painted anything, but I'm going to give it my best. That's all I can do is try. I need you guys to get like a carpet or something because in front of the chimney, some of the brown paint got near the carpet oh. and just smeared on it. So we need something to cover that up. I don't care, get a bear rug if you need to. I know that Derek's the leader, but I have a lot of ideas and a clear vision for how this is going to work. I'm going to paint. Derek's going to put the furniture together. I think I've got a good handle on the bookshelf. A lot of pieces, kind of complex. See, the, the drawings and the pictures aren't quite as accurate as I would like. Oh, dude, Tale oh. of Two Cities. I never read it, but <laughs> I mean, can, it can has got to look smart. <laughs> it so. sounds good. I guess it's better than War and Peace. We got everything we wanted to. We got our theme. Now I'm anxious to get back to the warehouse. Do you like those? I really like those. Yeah. So I had a great idea to pick out a leather mirror. The leather, it represents kind of the masculinity, but the mirror, let's face it, we all want to look good when we leave the house. Look at that color, it's only, only $29. We need to find a bed set. I find one that's pretty appealing. It's something I would sleep in. I, I really like this color. All right, tag it. 
Everything is all over the place. I have no idea how we're going to get this all done with our time. We got 14 minutes left. All right, we got to get hustling. I'm getting freaked out. I'm a little worried we don't have everything ready just yet. I'm just worried about getting the carpet covered up as much as possible with the furniture right now. Just make sure with your socks, man, because you've been walking, that you don't walk on the carpet too much. I step back and I look at this paint job. It's looking pretty nice. They better be pleased when they come back at the job that we've done. How's it looking, Dave? Very close, very close. So I've got all the furniture assembled. Dave's almost done with the walls. I'm like, well, we've got some time. Here's my chance. I'm going to make a little painting. Original art from the heart. I let Derek have his vision, because I get that he's excited about it. We're ahead of the other guys. Sure, so let's see what he does. So we get back, and I'm so proud of my guys. They have the whole room painted, they have the bed set up, and the bookshelf. Oh, that is money right there. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. We're back. Hey. So we get back to the warehouse, and I'm really excited. We've got a lot of cool things, and then I see our room. OK, wow. And I'm like, oh, boy. It looks like there was just a frat party here last night. And then I look next door, and it's spotless. I'm nervous. Wait a okay. second. We've only got 15 minutes to set stuff up? Yes. So we're like time sticking. OK. OK, so let's do it. So Curtis and Mike, you're back. Let's see what they got. Mirror, leather, masculine, perfect. Two chairs, chocolate brown, love it. Bedding, I think we'll be all right. Uh, start getting my hands dirty here. Do you have a sponge? I was thinking of doing a sponge, sponge, uh, sponge touch. Lerone comes up with this plan to do this splotchy painting on this wall. <laughs> I'm like, go for it, man. It's not going to make it any worse. I'm not thinking it's going to be the best idea, but you know, I'll just go along with it just because it's probably going to be anything can help that wall right now, really. Anything. More of it. Make that color. Make this color. This is the final thing. We get this up and it's a wrap. That's it. So we get down, there's like three minutes left. I am dead set on getting this mirror put up. Come on. I'm seriously I'm skeptical about this. We're just, we're putting holes in the wall that I painted. Uh, Knock it in there. It's not gonna hold it. No, it's, this is coming off. We don't have a whole lot of time left. Hopefully we can pull this together before these judges get here. All for one, one for all. We didn't have enough money to buy a TV, so we improvised. We took a risk doing it because, yeah, it was a little phony, it was a little cheesy, but we really wanted that to be part of our room. Hammer. I'm being realistic with three minutes. We, Screw it. No, we're, we're, getting, we're getting this freaking marriage. Dude, here. let's, honestly, time better spent. Let's leave it on the ground like this and touch the wall up. I'm not joking. There's literally seconds left on the clock, and we're still messing around with this 50-pound mirror that we're trying to hammer to the wall. Oh, I swear to God, this is a bad idea. Do it. The wall's Hammered. not going to support it. And David's in the background just saying, uh, I think you should put it down. We're putting the mirror up. All right, give it a shot. I'm on. I'm on. Let it go. Money. Oh! oh! Yes. Yeah! yeah all right, all right. The last second, we got the mirror hung, and it really finished the room out. Princess Barbie, she better like this. Our room does not look as good as the other team's room, but their room is plain. Ours has some spunk to it. I'm really impressed. It's, it's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer than my room at home. OK, guys, time is up. Wow, this looks like you guys have really worked hard today. We chose Curtis to do the uh, presentation. I think I could have done a great job, but I'm really happy Curtis is going to be speaking because he's a great speaker. We started with a uh, rich mahogany color for uh, the walls because it's warm. It's a masculine color, but it's not too masculine to where a special lady would come visit. She would feel comfortable. On the bed, lots of pillows, which represented comfort and kind of warmth and, you know. This is our, uh, our footstool or ottoman that we place at the foot of the bed. This is a use-all. If, if I need to stand on something, I can do that. If I need to sit down and, and tie my shoe, you know, I can do that. 
Now Curtis is presented for his team. Very articulate, but there's nothing in the room. Hello. A little special treat from Derek. Uh, he's very artistic, and he painted this picture with the time that he had. It's got a good mix and array of colors. As the team captain and leader of this group, I'm not really looking for me to shine. I'm looking for my team to shine. Now, this isn't something that we would hang up in the room. This is actually a gift that we would give, you know, our special interest. Curtis did really great with the presentation. We clearly won this competition. When we first started off, what we were going to do for our room, we took into effect the uh, note that we got from Barbie this morning. Cash, he looks a little nervous. Doesn't seem like he believes in his room, to be honest. And if I were him, I wouldn't either. They have some sponge painting, nice color of vomit. Their room looks disgusting. So like any great interior designist, we wanted to come up with a theme. Well, we thought of romance, Juan and Don type of deal. So what next we have right here is our nice dining table right next to our chimney. And that's symbolizing warm and cozy. Are the judges really seeing what I'm seeing right now? They painted a fireplace. It looks terrible. We have a nice TV up here on the wall. This actually costs a lot of money, too, right here. And one other thing, if a nice little smell going on, we have some incense up here. You got to be smelling good. You don't want to smell bad. OK. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. You. Yeah. yeah. The only thing you could dock us for is the paint on the floor, but I'm feeling great. That was incredibly impressive. Clearly, so much sweat and hard work went into this. We will see you at elimination tonight. We go into elimination, and I'm really not that worried because the winning team from the competition is safe from elimination. Good evening, guys, and welcome to your second elimination. Last challenge, we got to see how you participated by yourselves, how you stood out on your own. However, in this challenge, we got to see how you really worked in a group. Let's talk about Derek's team first. You guys did really an outstanding job with your color choice. I just felt immediately peaceful in that zone. And I, I thought the ottoman was a nice touch, but mm -hmm. I would have preferred that you were offering foot rubs with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now on to Chris's team. I thought for the money that you guys had, it went such a long way. There were so many different touches that you maximized what you guys had to work with, so I was very impressed with that. The mythical fireplace <laughs> and the TV, I thought that was creative. And that just made me feel really good. We spent nothing on those, and those are the first compliments we got. Well, both teams definitely had some good aspects, but one team really blew us away. Chris, Keith, Aron, and Cash, you won the challenge and are safe in tonight's elimination. Congratulations. So the judges come out and say Chris's team are the winners. I am appalled. I completely disagree. Now, not only have we lost the challenge, but we're also on the chopping block. You guys really won because from the start, you listened to the challenge, you took it to heart, and I think most of all, you guys work tremendously as a team, and that's a great quality to have in a boyfriend. Success! We win! I told you, I told you, I told you. Our room is better than yours. So there. Curtis, David, Derek, and Michael, please step forward. I'm on the chopping block two challenges in a row. Can't believe it. So as a team, you might have lost, but there was one of you that really impressed us. You stood out and you took charge. And that young man is Curtis. Curtis, you can step back. You're still in the running towards becoming genuine Ken. OK, so now we want to talk to the rest of you. We really want to know who was responsible for what on this team. Michael, what did you have to do with the whole picture? I went um, shopping with Kurt. Just 
kind of ran through the store. With the thousand dollars we were given, we made do and tried to get everything that we felt was perfect for the room that we would want to have. Why did it feel so sparse? Why did it feel so limited, comparatively speaking? We had limited selection. I'm in the bottom three with Derek and David. I still think it's gotta be Derek that's going home. I mean, he is a team captain. Leader goes down with his ship, right? So who selected the bedding or gave direction? Me. <laughs> I selected the bedding. We had a twin size bed, so we had multiple, multiple pillows. So I didn't want to just get rid of the pillows, so I figured we'd fill it up and just make it look even more comfortable. Yes, as girls, we do love pillows, but even for a guy's bachelor pad, I think there were a few too many there. It's a little questionable. <laughs> David, tell us a little bit about your role in the day. My work was primarily the painting. You stayed back and painted. Who stayed back with you and didn't go shopping? Uh, Derek and I did the painting. How did you guys split those responsibilities, and how did you feel you worked together? Well, I did all the painting of the walls. I was really focused on that, and I was meticulous cutting against the rug to make it very fine. I assembled the furniture, did a little bit of painting, laid out the drop cloth. I thought it'd be a nice little touch to do something original to give to our Barbie, so. And would you all agree that as the leader, he fulfilled all of his responsibilities? We're not hearing any of you guys. You're not saying yes, so I'm wondering if that's a polite no. This is when it gets dirty. They start trying to pit us against each other, and it's not feeling good. Clearly, someone has to go home, and we have to make a decision. So, David, it sounds like you did a really great job and contributed a lot, so please step back. You're safe. <sighs> Thank God I'm safe. My heart stops racing. Um, I'm cool. We are down to Derek and Michael. Unfortunately, one of you has to go home. So it's just me and Mikey standing there. To be honest with you, I don't know what Mike did at the store. I wasn't with him. He threw some pillows on the bed. Alexis, who do you think should be going home? You're obviously both great, but I think uh, Derek should go home. Lauren, who do you think should go home? So I think sometimes being a leader means others having the spotlight. And it did seem like you guys were a really great collective team. Obviously, Derek did something right there. So I think Michael should go home. So clearly, it comes down to me. Derek, you just showed the most heart. I thought that in your painting and in your leadership, you showed true pride. Michael. You are a genuine star, but you are not the genuine Ken. Michael, please step forward so I can take your tag. Whitney reveals that I'm the one going home. I'm actually not that surprised because maybe I'm not the genuine Ken, but that doesn't mean I'm not awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Boys, you are an impressive bunch. You are all still in the running towards becoming Genuine Ken, the great American boyfriend. Congratulations and good night. We'll see you at next week's challenge. So for two weeks in a row, I've been on the chopping block. I have got to step my game up from here on out. Next time on Genuine Ken. A genuine Ken is always ready for the next adventure, like catching a California wave. Yeah! <laughs> Bro, I'm from Iowa. I've never seen the ocean before. This is just a complete shock. Oh my gosh! With success comes some responsibility. I don't think that was a challenge. Or was it? Surprise, surprise. This is more of a punishment than a reward. Stage one creeper, a borderline stalker. You need to learn how to shut your mouth sometimes. One, two, three. Oh yeah!